Room Evangelist, Leslie Garrett, CBE. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're a bit cool out there. Was I really? Oh. Well, Was... before you fell over. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, come here. Darling, oh, oh a moment. Are we having much, a moment? Yeah, how much weight have you lost this week? Darling, would you like to know which camera are I we would all... like to know. All of them, all of them. <laughs> have we lost a stone yet? We have lost the stone. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Leslie Gary, <laughs> or a fox, may I say. Please take Hot a seat. fox, ready yeah. to trot. <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Now, thank you. Leslie Garrett, CBE, yes. yourself and Anton did very well last Saturday. Not, Not bad. Top scorers from the judges for your fox trot. <gasps> Second place from the judges for your cha-cha-cha. Ah. But it still didn't save you from this moment. Play. Ooh. The couple with the lowest score. And therefore, leaving us tonight are... It's Martin and Erin. Oh. Very sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I could not believe that. And I hesitated there because I was about to throw myself at Anton. Really? But then I thought, no, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> because I was Richard, really much concerned for Martin and Erin. Yeah. I could not believe that they'd gone out. I mean, really? you know, we'd, we'd never beaten them in the public vote before. And it, I was just... Totally, totally gobsmacked. Leslie, you've just told me you were absolutely convinced that you were going. Why was that? Well, because we've just it, we've been in that position so many times now. You know, me and Anton are really good at <laughs> not losing. <laughs> I mean, we're all we've been next to last now for three weeks, and somehow the public, the wonderful, wonderful public, who I have to thank with all my heart for supporting us, came through yet again they and certainly kept did. us in this wonderful competition. Can I ask you though, Leslie, how much do you want to win, and how would you feel? to go out of the competition? I have to say that I don't think any of us can be in any way indifferent to the idea of winning because we really, really owe it to our wonderful partners. I mean, all of them, Anton and Hannah and Brendan, they've all put so much, invested so much effort and time and love into us. They really have. Oh. And we owe it to them to really, really try to win. I don't think any of us are naturally all that competitive, mm. you know, but, sure. but for their sakes, you know, we, we must really try and, and get there. And so that, I shall be. Does that apply to you, Christopher, as well? How much do you um, want to win? I think we owe a lot to our partners. I mean, we worked out today how many hours we'd spent just training. This isn't including the live shows and the travelling and all of that, but just training in the studio, we did 187 hours mm -hmm. since the start. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a lot, you know. I mean, it's so much more than any of us were expecting to do. Really? Yeah, yeah. We, we got six all, a week, didn't we? But we're all so committed to this amazing programme because, yeah. I mean, straight to dancing it's it's just fantastic what it's doing for ballroom dancing Absolutely. it really is and it, it's also showing that that anybody can have mm. a go at it there's such a fantastic Absolutely. i mean look at us two yeah. i mean there's a good what 25 years between yeah. us two and we're both having a brilliant yeah. time we're going to have the drinks after we? the show and Absolutely. stuff Absolutely, we're best mates yeah. come on how about that i'm loving it like brother and sister <laughs> no anybody can do this and anybody can can be as fit as I now am, as skinny, as healthy, as well. You know, it's just the, the best form of exercise, the best form mm. of fun, and the best way to make friends. So get out there and oh, do it. Oh, that's lovely, Leslie Garrett, CB Ballroom Evangelist. Absolutely. Uh, Woo! <laughs> now, Leslie, how is your training and going this week? <laughs> You've got the jive and the quick step. Are we feeling confident? I tell you, I've never moved so fast in my life. The jive and the quick step are probably the two fastest dancers of the two forms, Latin and Bora. Really? I'm um, maybe just not touching the ground. In fact, I had to sort Mr. Jebek out of it today. He went too far. I don't even know if I'm to Did you not? I pulled his jive. You wanted to be up! How did he react? I yanked it! Oh, he wasn't pleased. Did you get off? Not pleased. I did. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely! I've been wanting to do that for weeks. <laughs> it was all of a flutter. He didn't know what to do with himself. I bet he was. <laughs> now, guys, for the last six weeks, our three uh, remaining celebrities have been dancing, like you said, their socks off. Their professional partners have been schooling them in everything from the ways of the waltz to the temperament of the tango. I thought it was about time we looked at their near end of term reports. Oh, dear. <laughs> Attention, please. This is... Miss Kartunen reporting my student Parker. Hi. Hi. Attendance grade A. So I'm like the fact that it's the best student I've ever had. And it's good to see that her attendance and her her progress throughout that attendance has been marvelous. 
And the first time I met Leslie, she has been absolutely fantastic. She's about perfect, I'd say. <laughs> Just perfect in every way. Thank you for commitment. I did not even want to be in this programme. I would have watched it from home very happily on the sofa. To each dance, she attacked each one except for the tango, which was slow, but uh, we put her in detention for uh, an hour. I can give her an A plus. Nice. <laughs> Recurring. <laughs> With honours. Oh, I'm taking on those for a bit. Oh. Oh, lovely. And a star. Chris Parker is very, very cheeky. Always up to something. Overall score for everything for my student, Chris Parker. If A is the highest, it's A. That's nice. That is the best student I've ever had. What did he just say? He wanted to dance with Claire. Leslie has been the head girl. She is a complete teacher's pet. I love you. Oh, that's oh, we do that every day. How honestly. about that? Straight A students according to respect to partners, right? Isn't it? Yeah. And it's do you know what? It's lovely to see as well. You're, you're all getting on so well. Yeah, I love brilliant, it. Brilliant. Thing. Now, I thought it would be a good idea, guys, with uh, you, you two, of course, and La Plinsky as being the last three remaining celebrities in this competition to have a little bit of chat before Saturday's semi-final. Now, you two are here with me. Natasha Plinsky, of course, couldn't join me on the sofa. She's got to be up really early in the morning to sit next to Dermot Murnahern. But she should be on the line now. Natasha, <laughs> are you there? I certainly am. Oh, I'm Natasha, sorry, you're not too late. I've been up since 20 past three this morning, oh, so I'm really oh, sorry. Oh, have you got your cup of cocoa? Oh, absolutely, yeah. My pajamas on, so oh. don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, vision, you vision. told me you didn't wear any, Natasha. Stop it. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Uh, <laughs> now, N Natasha, how was your training me going this week? Because I do believe you haven't as yet fulfilled your promise of taking Mrs. Corrin Cole sightseeing. I know, I've got a lot to do with Mrs. Coley Cole, and I'm really looking forward to showing her around London. But no, the training actually isn't going very well at the moment because we keep mucking about and not concentrating hard enough. But oh. this is usually what happens when Friday we panic, and then at five o'clock we start working really hard for Saturday. <laughs> now, Natasha, is it true that Brendan has actually been having words with your mum? Brendan seems to be on the phone to my mum more than I am these days. I don't know what's what going on. <laughs> what are they talking about? Rocks, well, my mum keeps rocks. phoning up because she's watching your programme, Justin, and she keeps listening to Arlene saying that I've got to stop in my arm. Oh, 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 Brendan. And then she phones up Brendan and reports all the news, so he has to listen. <laughs> now, Natasha, I've got to ask you this. How surprised are you at the, at the line-up of the final three? Um, I'm very surprised that I'm in it, I have to say. I'm not remotely so surprised that, um, that Leslie and Chris are in the lineup. Oh. I think it's going to be quite exciting. But, um, yeah, no, I think everyone's just entering into the spirit of it. And it's just fun, isn't it, more than anything? Now, Natasha, what would you like to, to say to them both? Because, obviously, you're, you're all looking forward to the semi-finals this uh, Saturday night. Keep it sportsmanlike. Um, have they got any advice for the Pasa Doble? Because I cannot do that dance, <laughs> and I am dreading it more than anything. Really? My own Keep very serious. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a few moves. I'll bring my cape along. <laughs> Chris is the expert. But, yeah. Natasha, I'll just say, don't be so negative, love, about yourself. You dance fabulously. Goodness me. Oh. You really are a lovely dancer. Stop being so negative. Bin that. Oh. That's what Antonin said. Hey, come on. <laughs> So, how are you all feeling, though, guys? Because you must be really nervous. A big decider for the final. So, oh. how's that making you feel? I think I'm just realising that any week could be our last week now, and we've just got to enjoy yeah. it, you know, as, as much as we can, because we could go out any, any time. Well, Leslie. Anton and I have been thinking that for the last three weeks. We, th we thought every week was going to be our last week. And every <laughs> week, you know, somehow we're still here. Yeah. And Chris is absolutely right. You've got to just focus on the fun and on the fact we're, we're improving every week. Because, you know, these, these partners of ours are amazing. And they're so committed to dance. And they're so committed to us, aren't they, Natasha? They just oh, want us to improve every week, week on week. And, that's and exactly it's just... what you were saying earlier on, Leslie, about how much we've got to try just for the partners. Because they have been so amazing. Mm. I mean, I just owe oh. so much to Brent. And he's just been fantastic and so patient and just yeah, the most amazing. Absolutely. Teacher, and everyone's so, so close. Everyone's such good friends now. I think it'll be I really know, strange when you lovely, finish. Yeah. We absolutely. hate it when everybody goes out. I was talking to Claire this morning, just this morning, I was on the phone to, to the Sweeney. Sweeney. I talked to Sweeney. Oh, she's watching every minute. She's oh. still oh. with us all. She's missing us all to death. Oh. Oh. You know. Natasha, I have to thank you for phoning in. Good oh, night. Oh, yes, I've got to go to sleep. Off you go. Bye bye. bye. Give my love to do not murder her. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. I tell you what. Go on. Go on. bit personal this, but I'm going to tell you what to do it. Tell me. <laughs> You're so desperate, aren't you, to get your sleep. I go to bed now. I've got, it's so attractive. Yeah. I've got earplugs. I've got one of those masks 
they give you on the aeroplane yeah. on the long haul flights. I've got, you know, things wrapped around me to keep the light out, the sound out. I look like Zaza Gabor on a very bad day. <laughs> and I'll tell you, you what, know. I bet you're still gorgeous <laughs> in my book. Now, my next guests are just wild boys.